Hello, I'm Joe Bloffus, Precision Ag Consultant for Jackson, Truman, and St. James areas. Today we're going to be talking about Harvest Lab 3000 Manure Sense. How did we measure manure in the past? How did we measure manure today? In the past we measured manure by liquid volume. Today we measure it by profitability. Manure Sense measures liquid manure real time on the go at 4,000 times a second. And how is this done? The Harvest Lab 3000 measures nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, dry matter, and liquid volume. How does this work? How is it able to read it 4,000 times a second? It uses near infrared technology. A light source projects a beam directly into a crop or product. And that crop or product absorbs some of that light and then reflects some back. This is how we're actually able to measure the moisture and the contents of the manure. Okay, let's talk about the traditional application of manure. So in the past, we had roughly 50,000 gallons. Within that 50,000 gallons, what if you only took two samples out of a barn? So out of those two samples, you averaged 150 pounds of nitrogen. But with the, within those two samples, on 50,000 gallons, you could vary anywhere from 50 pounds to 300 pounds of nitrogen. So lower than average nutrient sample placed in higher yielding areas can lead to more problems. This can lead to a loss of profitability per an acre. After the season is over with, you can take all of your manure sense maps and bring it into operations center where you can see the pounds of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, dry matter, and liquid volume right at your fingertips. So one way we can do this is using a nutrient control using the flow gate or tractor speed automation. You can also use volume control. So you can set your target rate for gallons per an acre. While using nutrient control using the flow gate or tractor speed automation, we can change the target rate of N, P, or K. We can also use volume control by changing the target rate of gallons per an acre like we traditionally do with a flow meter. So in this example, you can see that when you select nitrogen, you can change the rate on the go, on the fly, to whatever set pounds you want of nitrogen. On top of that, we can also limit the nutrients that are being placed in the field. For example, we can actually set the rate of phosphorus at a limit so it does not go above a certain pounds per an acre. What is the compatibility of manure sense? The John Deere 2630, 4600, and 4640 displays are all compatible with manure sense. Tractor models that are compatible are 6R, 7R, 8R, 8RT, 8RX, 9R, 9RT, and 9RX. So the requirements for the automatic flow gate control. This is where the flow gate will adjust on the go per your settings in the monitor. So the automatic flow gate control can be used by setting the target rate for N, P, or K, and you can also set for gallons per an acre. So what's needed to make this work? The Harvest Lab 3000 with Manure Constituent Sensing Module. Either a John Deere 2630, 4600, or 4640 monitor. A John Deere liquid rate controller is also required. Most John Deere R-Series tractors are compatible. We talked about Harvest Lab 3000 and the Manure Constituent Module. Some of the things that we talked about were the requirements needed for Manure Sense, which tractors and which displays, and also the liquid rate controller. If you have any questions, please ask your local C&B dealer. Thank you.